So you're looking for more information on the eagerly awaited XP Dias 2. You've come to the right place. Welcome to the XP Dias 2 unboxing and hands-on review. I've been very lucky and have been granted a pre-release demo version of the Dias 2. My thanks go to Regton, Nigel, Marcus and all the Regton team for that. Many thanks, it's much appreciated. So, what do you get in the box? So you have the new Dias 2 remote, it looks nice and chunky, almost military grade. And you've got a hip mounted cover, the WS6 back phones, an 11 inch multi frequency coil, and you've got an antenna if you intend to go underwater and do a bit of diving. There's the charging leads and the, the famous S telescopic stem and the lower stem. You also have two little plugs which I will uh, go into a bit later. Right so here's the remote all you've got to do is hit this button here just press and hold for a millisecond and it fires up. And while I'm doing this the WS6s are firing up as well then you'll be presented with that screen now don't be confused it's not a touch screen if you want any one of those outputs is wireless headphones, wired headphones, bone phone headphones. You can make a selection on the keypad. And turn off, it's just same again, three seconds, and away she goes. So, what does a Dash 2 look like? This is it. How does it compare? with a DAS 1. This is a DAS 1. Now, visually, not a heck of a lot of difference, but there's some subtle differences, I can assure you. One being the remote control. Right, you're all used to the DAS, or as it's known now, the DAS 1. Remote, there she is, slimline, so what's the DAS2 remote look like? There it is, chunkier, obviously waterproof. Compare the two side by side, you can immediately see the difference in layer of the buttons on the back. You've got the same mounting to the top stem, but it's slightly more heavy duty on the DAS2. There's a plug here, which I'll go into in more detail. That is the charging plug socket and also the data, updating the data. The bottom, nothing to talk about on the DAS1, but the DAS2 has a plug fitted there. Now that plug, the black plug, is for the land. Now that's got a a membrane inside the plug which allows air to come in but keeps the unit waterproof down to one meter. Okay, that 
lets the remote breathe. Now if you intend on diving, you put the red plug in. That's the red plug which comes with the kit. So take out black plug one, pop in red plug two. That will allow you to dive down to a maximum of 20 meters and that effectively will seal up the remote from water ingress. Now you must remember when you come back onto land detecting, you take the red plug out and put the black plug back. If you don't, you're actually effectively sealing up the remote. Always put the black plug back in because that will let the remote breathe and equal the pressure. If you get a hot day, it will just keep the remote from swelling up. It could get some swelling and the speaker may get sticky, but you can cure that by just blowing into the back of your unit. So remember, black plug in on land, red plug when you're diving. Right, is there any difference in the appearance and weight, I hear you ask? Well, subtle differences in the Dias 2 from the Dias 1. The remotes, obviously there's a big difference there, it's a bigger remote, and the remote is slightly heavier. On the Dias 1, it's 98 grams, and on the Dias 2, it's 155 grams. That's just a, a very small increase. So the complete weight of a Dias 1 is 1058 grams and the Dias 2 is 1115 so that makes it 57 grams heavier so just a smidge heavier but that is due to the remotes being more chunkier and with able to stand 20 meter depths. On the stem itself there's some changes there's a subtle difference in the cam lock on the Dias 2 if you notice there slightly stubbier now if you compare that with the Dias 1, the cam lock is slightly longer. So weight saving, I don't know. And included in the pre-release demo version I have is the 11 inch coil, which goes from four kilohertz to 45 kilohertz. That's the FMF coil, that's fast multi-frequency. You also get the antennae lead, which affixed to the coil and then clips to the uh, stem and then terminates on top of the remote uh, so to make your coil talk to your remote if you are down in the depths. Now of course the coil, the remote unit and the back phones all connected by radio frequency. This is not Bluetooth, this is a proprietary XP designed radio link. Now Bluetooth on many other units could be as slow as 100 milliseconds or down as quick as 40 milliseconds. Now the Dias radio link is 10 times faster, low, low latency and that can go, well it is, as low as 4 milliseconds. So it's very, very fast. So it's not a Bluetooth, it's actually XP's proprietary radio link makes it super, super fast. Another cool feature of the XP Dias 2 is when you turn the remote on, the back phones, the WS6s turn on as well. And when you turn the remote off, the headphones turn off as well. So you don't have to fiddle around with two buttons to turn the back phones off. As I mentioned earlier, the Dias 2 remote has a different port on the back of the unit. Now this is an unscrewable port and in that there is a multi-pinned connector. So the three lead, the USB one into three, what you're used to on the Dias one to do your coil, back phones and remote is different on one lead. You've still got the standard connectors on two of the three, which goes to your coil charging and your back phones. But the third one has got a round connector which screws into the multi-port plug on the back of the Dias 2 remote. That is for, of course, charging and for doing the data update. Also included in the, the kit you get with the Dias 2 is a little plastic bag with a strange looking clippy type thing in. That is in fact a safety lanyard for your remote so you can physically attach the remote to the top stem of your uh, detector so if your remote falls off for any reason you won't lose it. What you'll need to do to fit that is just sneak your stem up a bit, pop 
one end of the clip over there and then pull the handle back up, lock the cam lock and you've trapped one part of the lock there. And the other one is on the bottom of the Dias 2 remote. There's a couple of little holes there. Feed the little uh, lanyard through and affix it and then you can connect it to the corresponding connector on your stem. So no fear, you won't lose your remote. So what do I think about the Dias 2? Apart from being a very, very lucky boy to be able to test the pre-release version, the remote is the most changed piece of gear on the dais. The stem coil looks very similar, but it's the actual remote itself. There's some slight differences with the back phones. You've got the WS6s, which come with the dais 2, and then obviously you've got the WS4s, which come with dais 1, and you can see that the screen is roughly about twice the depth and the button layer is different and you've got a lot more features and control on this unit on your back phones you could take this off and pop this on the stem in place of the remote if you so wished so all in all i am very impressed with the dais 2 i'm really looking forward to getting it out on the field and putting it through its paces so please subscribe hit the bell and tick all to get all notifications when I release new videos on the Dias 2. You know you want to. Hopefully in the near future, well, in December, you too could have your Dias 2. It's not out yet, but if you need some more information, pop back and we'll let you know how I'm getting on with it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.